Hi there, my name is Ruth and I'm joined by Felicia here who is a student and I was just going to ask you Felicia a few questions. Um, could you just tell us a little bit about yourself just for the benefit of people who don't know you at Bub Bar? Um, I've been going to Bub Bar for about two years now. Um, I really love the church community there. Like you said, I'm a student and I work as a ward host too at the General Hospital. Great, thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about what, is been, what has been good about lockdown and what you found slightly more challenging? Well, first of all, my A-levels were cancelled, so... Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I, was good. That. I know I can't avoid exams forever, there'll still be new <laughs> exams, but... <laughs> They're going to catch up with you at some point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm in a very fortunate position because now I'm able to work full time and I can save up money. So. OK, so that's been one of the good things. What about yeah, definitely one of the more challenging things? Is there anything you found a little bit more difficult? Like I'm a, I'm a really social person, so like I really miss my friends and just like the freedoms that I used to have, like to just get up and go like wherever I wanted, especially since my best friend Joelle had just gotten a car. So she'd always come to pick me up late at night and we'd like drive down to the beach. Uh -huh. And now obviously I think, well, now we can do that because lockdown is lifting, but yeah, you know, we couldn't do that before. Yeah. But again, like I recognize I am in a very fortunate position. I am like really blessed because like I know if this is a really difficult time for people because they have people that they have loved ones that are sick or they've lost their jobs so mm. lots to give thanks for yeah yeah have you managed to do anything fun since this all started or is it all just <laughs> work and I think the trick is is being really creative like what can I do like I'm someone who has to be busy so I've been like I've been like oh I'm gonna paint or like I'm gonna, I've actually started to learn to cook oh. and I'm cooking more and right. I'm baking lots. Just something to keep myself occupied. And again, like, like I said, like being creative, like doing quiz nights with my friends. Like I would never think to do quiz nights with my friends, but it's actually been really fun. Yeah. And what, <laughs> what after lockdown plans do you have? What, what does life look like after this? Um, I, I mean, my plans were canceled, so but in December, I am supposed to go to Brazil with my mum. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. And I am really looking forward to uni. I'm just really excited for that new chapter of my life. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Um, can you tell people a little bit about what your relationship with God has looked like through this? I think it definitely has strengthened because, like, as... I still have those close relationships in my life, like with my friends, but as they've like faded into the background because we haven't been able to meet up, like I've really been able, I really had to rely on God, like waking up and being like, okay, like today, like God's really the only one I've got. Like before, before I would read my Bible every morning, but like I would be in a rush. So it sometimes it'd just be like, you know, like five, 10 minutes, mm. but because I've had much more time, I've really like developed that discipline of like, sitting down and like really, really reading the Bible and spending much more time um, in prayer and just like uh, studying. That sounds good. I guess for a lot of people, there's things that we want to carry forward from this time. Like, I feel like each season in life is unique. So like we have the luxury of time now. So this like, it, it's okay. Like if I spend an hour reading the Bible now, but like, I, I think it's fine if, in six months like that's just not realistic yeah yeah it's a good habit to get into but yeah um for me like if i don't read my bible my day doesn't like if it feels weird yeah that's how it's become a discipline yeah yeah that's cool um felicia if there's one verse in the bible that you would go to i don't know for comfort or for um encouragement what what would it be I'm reading Psalms, so like I keep seeing it come up all the time, like God is our refuge. And I think, I think it's like one of the more like famous Psalms where it says like, God is our fortress, he'll protect you. And I think like when you're going for a really difficult situation, it's just knowing someone has your back or like, like God will always be there for you. He loves you unconditionally. Yeah. Thanks Felicia for um, answering those questions. It's great to see you. Can't wait to have a coffee with you when this is all over.